For centuries, humanity has gazed at the night sky, pondering the vastness of the universe and our place within it. Questions about the universe's extent, our relative insignificance, and the limits of discovery have persisted across generations. The James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, launched on December 25, 2021, has begun to provide answers that challenge our understanding of the cosmos. Positioned nearly a million miles from Earth at the second Lagrange point, L2, JWST has delivered data so profound that it is reshaping scientific paradigms. Its observations of ancient galaxies, mysterious signals, and potential biosignatures are not only expanding our knowledge, but also raising philosophical questions about the nature of reality itself. Unlike its predecessor, the Hubble Space Telescope, JWST was designed to probe the universe's earliest moments. Its 6.5-meter primary mirror, composed of 18 hexagonal beryllium segments coated with gold, is six times larger than Hubble's, enabling unprecedented light-gathering capability. JWST's instruments operate primarily in the infrared spectrum, allowing it to peer through cosmic dust clouds that obscure star and galaxy formation. This capability enables JWST to observe light from the universe's first stars and galaxies, emitted just a few hundred million years after the Big Bang, approximately 13.8 billion years ago. The telescope's key instruments, the Near Infrared Camera, NIR Cam, Near Infrared Spectrograph, NIR Spec, Mid Infrared Instrument, MIRI, and Fine Guidance Sensor Slash Near Infrared Imager and Slitless Spectrograph, FGS Slash NIRIS work in tandem to capture images and analyze the chemical composition of distant objects. JWST's sunshield, a five-layer structure the size of a tennis court, maintains its instruments at temperatures below minus 223 degrees Celsius minus 370 degrees Fahrenheit, ensuring precision in infrared observations. This engineering feat allows JWST to observe phenomena that were previously invisible, from the formation of stars to the atmospheres of distant exoplanets. When JWST transmitted its first deep space images in July 2022, scientists were astounded. The telescope's deep field observations, such as those of the SMAC 0723 galaxy cluster, revealed thousands of galaxies in a patch of sky the size of a grain of sand held at arm's length. These images showed not only a staggering number of galaxies, but also structures that defied existing cosmological models. Galaxies observed just 200 to 400 million years after the Big Bang displayed complex features, spiral arms, bulges, and even dust clouds, suggesting a level of maturity unexpected in such a young universe. According to the standard Lambda Cold Dark Matter, Lambda CDM model, galaxies should have taken billions of years to develop such structures. Yet JWST's observations, published in journals like Nature and the Astrophysical Journal, indicate that massive galaxies existed as early as 500 million years post-Big Bang. This has led to two competing hypotheses. Either galaxy formation occurred much faster than predicted, or our understanding of the early universe is fundamentally incomplete. These findings challenge the timeline of cosmic evolution and suggest that unknown processes or physics may have shaped the early universe. JWST's ability to map the large-scale structure of the universe has revealed a dynamic cosmic web. This web, composed of dark matter, gas, and galaxies, spans billions of light years and serves as the scaffolding of the cosmos. Filaments of gas and dark matter connect galaxies, acting as highways for matter and energy. JWST's spectroscopic tools have measured the chemical composition of these filaments, detecting elements like hydrogen, helium, and heavier metals forged in stars. These observations, detailed in studies from 2023, show that regions once thought to be empty voids are filled with diffuse gas and even rogue planets, worlds untethered to stars, drifting in interstellar space. The telescope's observations of galaxy mergers and interactions further illustrate the universe's dynamism. Galaxies are not static. They collide, merge, and reshape one another feeding on gas and dust from the cosmic web. For example, JWST's images of the Stefan's Quintet Galaxy Group show intricate tidal tails and shockwaves from galactic collisions, processes that drive star formation and black hole growth. This interconnected ecosystem suggests that the universe is a self-sustaining, evolving entity, 
with Earth as a minuscule part of its vast network. JWST's long-duration observations have provided a front-row seat to cosmic evolution. By capturing light from stars and galaxies billions of years old, the telescope allows scientists to study processes that occurred when the universe was in its infancy. For instance, JWST has observed star-forming regions like the Carina Nebula, revealing protostars emerging from dense gas clouds. It has also captured supernovae, explosions marking the deaths of massive stars, and the formation of black holes as stellar remnants collapse. One of JWST's most groundbreaking capabilities is its ability to study exoplanets and their atmospheres. Using transit spectroscopy, the telescope analyzes starlight filtered through a planet's atmosphere during its transit across its host star. In 2022, JWST detected water vapor, methane, and carbon dioxide in the atmosphere of WASP-96b, a hot Jupiter 1,150 light-years away. More intriguingly, in 2023, JWST identified dimethyl sulfide, DMS, a molecule associated with biological processes on Earth, in the atmosphere of K2-18b, a subneptune exoplanet 120 light-years away. While not definitive proof of life, this discovery, reported in Nature Astronomy, marks a significant step toward identifying biosignatures beyond our solar system. Approximately 27% of the universe's mass energy is dark matter, an invisible substance that influences gravity but does not emit or absorb light. JWST's observations of gravitational lensing, where light from distant galaxies is bent by massive objects, have mapped dark matter's distribution with unprecedented detail. These maps, published in 2024, reveal that dark matter's behavior is inconsistent across the universe. In some regions, it clumps tightly around galaxies as expected. In others, it disperses diffusely challenging models of its role in galaxy formation. Dark energy, which constitutes 68% of the universe and drives its accelerated expansion, is equally enigmatic. JWST's measurements of distant supernovae and galaxy clusters suggest that dark energy strength may vary over time, contradicting the assumption that it is a cosmological constant. These findings, discussed in physical review letters, raise questions about the fundamental nature of gravity and spacetime. If dark energy is not constant, our models of cosmic expansion and the universe's ultimate fate may need revision. In 2024, JWST's ultra-deep field scans detected an anomaly that has sparked intense debate. In a distant galaxy cluster, the telescope recorded non-random, repeating signals embedded in the light spectrum. Initially suspected to be instrumental errors, these signals were confirmed through repeated observations. Unlike known phenomena such as pulsars or fast radio bursts, these signals exhibit patterns that suggest encoded information. Hypotheses range from natural processes, such as primordial black hole interactions, to speculative ideas about advanced civilizations. While no consensus exists, the signals, reported in science, represent a mystery that JWST is uniquely equipped to investigate. JWST's discoveries have reignited philosophical debates about the nature of reality. The universe's mathematical precision, from the uniformity of physical laws to the structured patterns of galaxies, has led some physicists to revisit the simulation hypothesis. Proposed by philosopher Nick Bostrom in 2003, this idea suggests that our reality could be a computational construct. JWST's data, showing a universe that operates with almost algorithmic consistency across vast distances, lends credence to such speculations. Online discussions, particularly on platforms like X, have amplified these ideas, with users debating whether JWST's findings hint at a deeper, programmed reality. JWST's mission to detect biosignatures is perhaps its most profound endeavor. Beyond the discovery of DMS on K2-18b, the telescope has identified organic molecules, such as polycyclic aromatic hydrocarbons, PAHs, in distant galaxies and star-forming regions. These molecules, essential to life as we know it, suggest that the building blocks of life are widespread. JWST's ongoing survey of exoplanet atmospheres, particularly those of Earth-like planets in habitable zones, could soon provide stronger evidence of extraterrestrial life. 
If confirmed, such a discovery would redefine humanity's place in the cosmos. The James Webb Space Telescope has not only expanded our view of the universe, but also challenged our assumptions about its nature. From galaxies that defy our models to signals that hint at the unknown, JWST has revealed a universe that is older, more complex, and more interconnected than we imagined. Its discoveries, spanning cosmology, astrophysics, and astrobiology, have forced scientists to rethink fundamental concepts, from the timeline of galaxy formation to the behavior of dark matter and energy. More than a scientific tool, JWST is a philosophical catalyst. It has shown that the universe is not a static backdrop, but a dynamic, evolving system in which we are a fleeting part. As it continues to peer deeper into space and further back in time, JWST will likely uncover more mysteries, each one pushing the boundaries of human knowledge. The telescope has transformed us into explorers of not just the stars, but the very nature of existence. In staring into the cosmic abyss, JWST reveals that the universe is staring back, inviting us to question everything we thought we knew.